Hi, Chantalia. Welcome or welcome back to Furniture Flipping Rush. In today's video, I'm going to flip this unloved pine chest of drawers. All over a body, she has scars of a past, engraved, varnish missing, cracks and bruises. Here is a bit of feedback from my last video. The Half Moon Entry Rate Table is sold. I'll leave the link in the description for that video. Now let's get back to flipping this girl. I'm going to treat her to new bling, so I'm removing the old handles. These handles are glued in and has no screws. I'm applying heat to soften the glue and make it easier to remove. Little did I know how hot a heat gun gets within a short time. I managed to add to her scars by burning her, so I opt for a much gentler heat source. You can see how the wood around the handle gradually turned brown. I received help from the rubber mallet for those stubborn ones. I'll keep these for another rescue. You never know when I might need them. I'm going in with a vacuum cleaner and follow with a warm soapy bath. I get excited when I clean a piece because it allows me to access all the problem areas and see damage I missed. I use mineral turpentine to remove the stickers. Turpentine works wonders on any sticker residue made by stickers and labels. It removes it without any effort. I feel like I'm removing the only thing that made it beautiful ones. I'll make up for it, I promise. It's like I'm removing a tattoo. One of the draw slides is broken. Luckily I have a piece of wood to make a new one. I measure how big it needs to be against an unbroken slide. I do not recommend that you do this. You can easily lose a finger if the Dremel slips. The Dremel was the only tool I had at the time. I did not have a jigsaw for the job. And I could not see myself trying to get a straight long line by using a hand saw. However, I did use a hand saw for the small cut because the Dremel could not cut right to the other side. And for some reason I missed this screw. I did put the screw in when I saw it missing on the video. I inspected each drawer slide and saw they were all loose. So I glued and put screws in for all of them. I made sure to get pretty legs to help her getting back onto her feet. I can screw the new legs onto the front but I needed extra support for the back. 
I just wanted to give my dad a massive shout out for gifting me his jigsaw after hearing I used the Dremel to cut the drawer slide. Thanks dad, you're the best dad ever. While she was standing on the head, I noticed a crack down her side. The crack does not run all the way down. So I could not just glue and clamp, it will not pull together. I decided to secure it with a block to prevent it from further splitting. I will mend the outside with wood filler to hide the scar. The back panel also opened at the top. The old nail and hammer did the trick. At some point she received a knock on the back. This is not the best quality furniture board. This one is made of a very coarse wood chip and does not handle knocks well. It's also been used for the bottom of the drawers. I was thinking of replacing it with a better quality board, but because I went all out buying bling, I decided I'll work with what I've got. I laid it down on the back and also glued the inside and weighed it down to dry flat. The next day it looks so much better. Time to sand out all the dents and scratches. With the 80 grit, I added a bit of pressure to make sure to remove as many indents as possible. used a fine sanding block to give her a smooth complexion. I filled in the old handle holes with wood filler. I decided I want to give acrylic paint a try. This one coat acrylic paint by Fired Earth is really cost effective. It's a local South African paint. It is easy and forgiving to work with. If you make a mistake you can easily go over the area again. completed two thin coats in total. I will definitely use it again. Harlequin's Furniture Easy Seal is a water-based top coat. The suede finish will give me that shiny black look that I'm after. As 
As many of you already know, a water-based top coat grows on cloudy and dries clear. While I was working on this project, I started thinking about getting a spray gun. By watching a short video of furniture makeovers, you'd think furniture flipping takes a few minutes to complete. But in reality, it takes days to complete a project. And because I'm into furniture flipping for the long run, I need to try and save time wherever possible. So in the middle of this project, I took off a whole day to do research on compressors and spray guns. I decided to go with the Ryobi 50 litre direct drive to make my life easier when I'm doing bigger projects. By now I've painted most of this project by hand, but decided to do my second coat of the top coat on the drawer fronts with my new toy. I lightly sanded the first layer of the top coat down to get a beautiful smooth finish. I had been practicing off camera how to use it a bit before I attempted this. I got these lovely handles but I wanted them completely gold so that they can complement the new legs. I sealed the handles with a clear lacquer. I wanted to do something special for this girl to stand out, so I designed a new tattoo for her top drawer. This process took a lot of measuring and time to complete, but it was totally worth it. You want to use a painter's tape that sticks very well, and a sharp X-Acto knife. I also used a ruler to help cutting straight lines. Here I'm placing down the tape lightly to get an idea for the design. I then measured the space between each strip carefully before fixing them down exactly where I want them. I first paint the exact top coat I used for the piece to seal the pattern. This helps to prevent bleed through under the tape because you're overlapping the sealer over the tape. After that dried, I started applying the black paint, following the grain of the wood. I completed two coats of paint. You 
You want to peel off the painter's tape as soon as the paint dries, keeping the tape completely flat and straight against the wood as you slowly pull it. This helps to create those crisp lines. I also use the spray gun to apply the top coat over this drawer. Now it's time to give her legs and bling, so she can stand proud and tall once again. Let's look at where we started before I blow your mind. I'll have you know she was already sold while I was making this video to a dear friend who asked me for a picture in the middle of the project. She clearly saw the same potential that I saw in her. If you got any value out of this video, please like it. Thanks for staying until the end. Until next time, stay cool and creative. And remember to always keep it flipping good. See you next time. Bye.